Friday. Bam! I'm coming to you today and I want to talk about freedom from pain. Do we feel like that through our diet and lifestyle we can relieve ourselves of pain? Physical pain? Yes. What about the emotional pain you've been through? What about the mental pain that basically can keep you from relieving your physical pain because it keeps on slamming you back down to the same dang place with the acidifying foods that calcify the joints and the whole body creating disease and creating a place for disease to thrive in your body keeping you in the same mental frame of mind you know this is what I think that the cleansing foods, not cramming in all the stuff in your body anymore that drawn down your feelings and feeding yourself what your body was intended for so that you can easily digest and assimilate that, not overeating, not undereating, eating what your body needs so that you can relieve yourself of all of your vital force going towards digestion or going towards whatever it is that you dope yourself up with to keep you from getting to a better mental place to get you to the next level, you know? In my case now, the biggest thing that can cause me pain in my body is stress. It is the number one thing I try to, to minimize in my life now. Um, not the acidifying foods anymore, not the, you know, overeating or undereating. I've got it all under my thumb now, you know. Though then again, on the same note of that, uh, a little bit different thing is, don't um, always just think, well, I just don't ever need to listen to any data. I don't ever, ever need to. And you're just listening to this one person or this one train of thought, though you're not really looking at the actual facts, you know. Just like, for example, um, you know, what I would like to believe is that the body, we would never need any supplementation in our diet when we're eating what nature intended for us to eat, which I do. But nature did not intend for our food to be grown in all the pesticides and all the nutrient void and mineral void soil, depleted soil that is in now. So there could be issues that come up that we need to address, but it's not just having that mindset of um, letting no new information in. I think that is problematic for people. Um, that's a little bit off topic, but you know, seeing everything for what it is supposed to be, for, for that there is a reason it's in your life right now, there is a reason that people are in your life or you come in contact with situations or people, but it's how we handle those and it's how we can see those as positive benefits even if they seem like a negative diabolical force, you know? What's holding you back, you know, from clearing your the many multitude of past pain in your life that makes you who you are today, that drives you around by your subconscious? I mean, we've got to respond to these things in our life in order to get past them, I think. Acidic waste in the body, you know, that is something to me, that's the easiest thing to, um, to clear out and to eliminate from our body, you know. Fruits and herbs, tender, tender leafy greens, healthy fats, you know, and in the, in the small amounts that we need them to build a strong, vibrant body. But it's the mental aspect that I'm really working on getting at now. So that I can create a new wonderful life for myself, even beyond what it already is, you know. Creating lo long-lasting love and happiness in my life. And really appreciating the people in my life for where they are and where they come from, you know. Loving them right where they are today. You know, the old habits die hard. Pain from the past that can keep you down in all areas of your life. Clean eating can go a long way in, um, in healing your body, you know. Healing me from arthritis and lupus, from IBS, from leaky gut, from anemia, nodular acne, tongue lesions for seven years, depression, OCD, all these things on and on. It has freed me. 
but can I free my mind? Yes, I can, because my body is no longer so congested and so bogged down and working on clearing these things up that I can't move on to the, the better version of my mental self. Do you know what I mean? You know, helping me and forcing myself to look at the, the situations I came from so that I don't continue to repeat those, so that I can bring those to the 5% of my conscious thinking and um, be different, you know? So, I just wanted to tell you that, and I have company, so uh, I'll be talking to you on a second in the truck. Let's see who's here. Oh, hey. hey. Come in. Hey. <laughs> You're in the truck with Tanny and Scott. And I'm going to finish talking to you so Scott can enjoy my words. Of knowledge or load of bull, as my daughter would say. <laughs> That's not funny. No. She was being funny. No, she wasn't. <laughs> but you know, freeing your mind through not continuing to drone yourself down with the food so that you have enough vital force to think. For example, a lot of people, they just buy merchandise constantly and even if it doesn't live up to the standards or whatever hopes they had they had expected from it, they don't even bother to take it back. Why? Because they're drawn down by the dope and the food and everything else that they're on. They just don't bother. This is why the, this is why people can charge you fees from the bank and you don't even bother to check it out. This is why they can jack up your cable bill for 36 more dollars. It's cold in here. The sky is always hot and I am always cold. Up today. Oh, so today I called the cable company and they had just tried to say, well, that was your your two year um your first year, I don't know, something about the second year they were gonna charge me more or something. I said, I've only been in this house a little bit of time and this is the thing though, I got to really looking at how much they were charging me for, first of all, a house phone that's in the bundle that I don't even have one plugged up in the home, which it was more if I took the phone off, which made no sense. How much I, I get charged for cable, and I've had that TV on one time since I've lived there since March, when really, I just need internet so I can talk to you all, you know, and I can load my videos and I can do Skype with people and Christopher can do his technology. The thing is, investigating things, people in this world don't even bother to do it anymore because they have no vital force because they are beaten down and drugged down by trying to digest the toys and Play-Doh, I mean food they eat. So. else I want to tell you. But you know, clean eating is going to let you get into the, the progressive states of getting to your mental problems. Do you know what I'm saying? Whether you want to call them problems or not, it's the things that keep on dragging you back into your old eating, into your old, I don't know what you're doing. People do some strange things. They could be even like muting their self down by over exercising or whatever. It's whatever keeps you from focusing on the problem at hand and the relationships and the real things in your life at, at hand right now. I mean, if I've got some additional stress in my life or additional problems, I might even drop it back down to green smoothie cleanse or furthermore, um, green juice so I can have even more mental clarity. You know, these are tools I use in my life when I really don't know how to deal with people. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. <laughs> Scott and I have really been discussing lately how 
old patterns can really play into your new existence, you know? As he and I have a special friendship and, you know, we've just really been looking at what our um, old not-so-special friendships could really still be just beating into us when, unless you take time and energy to look at that, you'll just fall back into your same patterns, don't you think? Yeah, you really do because you really don't think about it a lot and then it just comes creeping back in. Yep. And before you know it, you're right back on the same path. Are you going to sing that country song, Creeping? <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what else did we want to tell them, Scott? But people use so many things. What it is I'm trying to get to is the emotional buffer. You know what I mean? It's the emotional buffer to keep you from dealing with the things that keep on dragging you down. If you don't want to be drugged down anymore, you're going to have to change your ways. Change your patterns. Do different to get different, you know? I mean, just like I was seeing this um, dating thing, and they were t and the girl was just telling me how if you will really be mindful of the things that you want for yourself and want in your relationship that it could be the same thing you're asking for but it's just all in the way of how you're going to ask for it you know yeah. like you might say um i might say hey scott uh can you take us to the movies tonight and depending on where he's coming from he might say to himself well, sure I can. What do you think? I don't have 25 bucks in my pocket. Or, I can, but I would really don't want to. Or, maybe I might say, um, do you want to go to the movies tonight? And he might think, well, no, I want to sit on the couch on my dead butt and watch sports on TV. But if I say to him, will you take us to the movies tonight? What he's going to hear as a man is that I have a need for him to take us to the movies. And he, as a man, would like to do that for me. And so it's all in how you ask for it, girls, you know? That's what I've been really focusing on lately. You like that? I like that. Sounds kind of tricky, doesn't it? It does a little bit. I tried it on you the other day. Did you notice? Oh, yes, I did. Where's that picture I gave you? <laughs> Look, Scott came in a while ago, and, and I said, I want to go here sometime, and later on today I'm going to say, will you take us there? <laughs> you ever just, every time you think about lemons, you're really just like, your mouth starts to water, and you can just imagine yourself biting into that white pith part, you know? Hmm. Sometimes that can be because your, your iron is low, and your body wants citrus because of that, you know? So... But hey, we got the there you go. <laughs>